and welcome to the Home Assistant How-To with Bearded Thinker. Today we are going to play with alerts. We'll start in a couple of seconds. Today we are going to work with the alert integration. This is not a typical integration for the component that is outside Home Assistant. Alerts is integration that is part of the Home Assistant. So why would you use alerts? For example, if you have a door sensor, like I do, you may want to be notified when the door is open. But what happens if you miss the notification or just forget about the notification? There is why we have alerts. Alerts can be configured in such a way that you get repeated alerts based on the state or a trigger. So, for example, if you leave your door open, you can get notified multiple times. There is also possibility to get multiple notifications, to skip first notifications, to acknowledge or disable acknowledgement, so you cannot accidentally acknowledge that you have a flood. Great thing is that you can mix this alert integration with various other sensors. So, for example, if you would have battery low notification or alert, you can trigger it in such a way that you will get it repeatedly until the battery level doesn't go above some threshold, for example, 20%. There is also possibility to change notification times or delays between notifications. So you could get notification uh, not every 15 minutes or every half an hour or hour, but you can tweak it in such a way that first notification will come if after one minute, then five minutes, then 15, 30 minutes, one hour, one day, one month or one week. <laughs> Just kidding. You have to set it up in uh, minutes. Of course, you can mix this alert integration with other not integrations, such as Telegram. Probably, you, if you have seen my setup or my stream, you will see that I am also using the inline keyboard functionality or inline uh, menus. So, one of the things, for example, that you can do is get notification but also receive inline keyboard inside Telegram and that you can then use it to change the state. For example, you get alert that kitchen light is on, but you also receive menu inside Telegram allowing you to turn the light off. The integration for this is pretty straightforward. Because this is my new recording setup, I do not have a lot of devices still integrated, such as Zigbee devices but I will try to find some device where I can replicate the use of the alert integration. Let's go to Visual Studio Code or any other editor that you use to edit your configuration. Okay. And here we will configure alerts. First thing we have to do is to activate the integration. So it will be alert. And now we will create a new alert based on the ISS, International Space Station status. So let's call it ISS Visible. Okay. Next thing we want to give this a name. It will be ISS is Visible. Then we can also specify name of the opposite event, meaning that if event is done, alert is done, Opposite of that will be, for me, ISS is not visible. Done message. ISS is not visible. Next thing we want to specify is what will be the trigger entity. This is the entity we are tracking uh, the status of. For me, this will be binary sensor, ISS. And after we have specified the entity we are tracking, for example, door sensor, window sensor, leak sensor, gas leakage sensor, temperature, humidity sensor, all the sensors you can use here. We want to set the state that we are interested to get alert on. In this case, it will be state. And we have to track the state on. 
since our binary sensor has only two states, off and on, off meaning that um, ISS is not visible, on means that ISS is visible. So, so far we have done nothing that will differentiate this from the normal status of the binary sensor, but now comes the fun part. First thing that we can specify is the repeat value. Repeat value is configuration for the alerts to specify the time between the alerts. This can, for example, be a list or just a single uh, numerical parameter. So if we would put five, that means that we want to receive alert every five minutes. But as I said previously, we can create a list of different values. So we can put five, 15, 20, and 45. That means that we will be alerted after 5 minutes, 15 minutes, 20 minutes and 45 minutes. But I do not want to have three alerts and those three to be so far apart. So I will put here number 5. One of the interesting parameters here is skip first. Uh, default value for this is false. You can of course set it to true. And what this does, it, it skips first alert. So for example, you, if you are using this on your garage door and it takes you a bit longer to open the garage, get in the car, get the car out of the garage and close, you may choose to skip first alert, meaning that no, you don't want to be alerted while you're still in the car trying to get out. But then again, you do not want to miss notifications. So setting this to true, system will just keep sending the first alert and go straight to the counter, counting time until the next repeat. That way you will not get notification when the state of the sensor changes. You would get it on a state change plus five or plus time index. And last part of the configuration is to define notifiers and notifiers is or can be a list of all the notification devices or notification integrations that you have set up in your home assistant for this let's check what we have here let's go to developer tools let's go to services and see what we have here so we have bearded bot discord and lg tv I can list here bearded bot and I will also list LG TV. Let's go back. Bear that bot. And we can also specify here LG TV. This now means that we will get alerted when the state changes from not visible to visible. We will get notifications every five minutes and notifications will be sent both to our bearded bot and to LG TV also. Next thing for you, of course, is to restart Home Assistant. There are, of course, a lot of additional parameters you can add. You can add, for example, one additional parameter that can be interesting to you. This parameter is called uh, can acknowledge. Default value for this is true, but you can also say false. This option gives you possibility to acknowledge uh, that you have read alert or that you have been notified. And that way you would prevent any additional notifications from your home assistant. If you say for this alert to be to have a false status or false flag, it means that you will not be able to acknowledge until you fix the issue with the sensor. This can be beneficial for the uh, water leakage or any other critical sensor that can lead to your property getting damaged or to personal injury. For example, fire sensor, smoke sensor, gas sensor, things like that. So you would not acknowledge it by accident. Let's put here true. And let's restart our home system. First, let's go to configuration, server control, check configuration, and let's restart. 
using alerts can be a very powerful tool. As I said previously, I have a door sensor that I do not use as any kind of uh, alarm or security device. I use it just to remind me that kids, of course, didn't close the door completely. And having this kind of notification, especially in winter, can, of course, reduce my kitting costs a little bit. I can also use this notification in my case for the binary sensor I have set up for my youngest daughter watching Nickelodeon TV. Currently I only have one alert saying you have been watching for I don't know how many minutes. If there is some kind of a threshold that I want her to stop watching that program, I can set this so she gets nagged every couple of minutes both with test display on TV using LG TV integration but also uh, triggering, for example, notification on my mobile phone and my wife's mobile phone that she's watching TV for a longer period. So I can, for example, turn the TV off. One way for us to trigger this is to change the state of my binary sensor. Let's first open Telegram. And now let's try to change the state of the binary sensor. State is off let's put the state to on as you can see currently the state is on and since we said skip first we didn't get any notification let's set the state now to false unfortunately we have to restart the system once again and now that our system is back online let's test it once again Let's go to developer tools. As you can see, the alert is now idle. Let's once again go to binary sensor and change it from off to on. Let's set the state. As you can see, now we have two notifications. First one was as previous, look above ISS is somewhere above your head. And this one ISS is visible is from our alert integration. If we go to Home Assistant and go to Alert, it is back to idle since the state of the sensor has once again changed to idle. Sorry, to off. If this would have been a real sensor, not this sensor, and I wouldn't change it by hand, we would receive notifications every whatever minutes be specified until this sensor changed once again to off. Alert integration is a very powerful tool that can help you tweak out your other integrations that you have in Home Assistant. If you want to read more about alert integration, you can always check the Home Assistant documentation. A link, as always, is in the comments of the video. This is it for today's Home Assistant how-to. I really hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did enjoy this video, please give me a thumbs up. It means a lot. If you still haven't subscribed, please subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified on the future updates. And I will be seeing you next time. Until then, bye bye and have fun.